Epic Games has finally made the announcement and also released Twin Motion 2020 and this new version is packed with a whole lot of cool features and updates that has come through with improvement. And today we're going to go through and take a look at all of these things, compare them with the previous version and at the same time take a look at what has been stepped forward and also things that you need to know before you get into the brand new version of Twin Motion 2020. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking our very first official look at Twin Motion 2020 and all of the beautiful improvements that's been done. So we're going to start off by taking a look at the UI. The UI for some reason hasn't really changed that much, but you know, we already love the fact that Twin Motion is very simple and very easy to use and it's quite cool to see that the guys at Epic Games actually left this the way it is. So you can still find your inspector here. Here is where you get everything that you're importing, your context menu, you know, your media, your vegetation, everything lives here. And we're definitely going to talk about all of these things very soon. Over here, you're going to find your assets and everything that you need to build. And we're going to actually start out by saying that most of the things that you have here are well improved. So I've spent a couple of hours working on this, you know, testing these things out. And honestly speaking, they are way more than I actually imagined. I'll go over to the edit, go to the preference, just to confirm that I have my quality set all the way to ultra so you guys can see this. And at the same time, if I go over to the setting, you can also choose to turn VSync on and off, totally dependent on what you want. And I would also set my viewport resolution to about, you know, 1000 and at the same time 1000 you can choose to play with this totally fine for you the reason why i'm doing all of this is because i'm running the nvidia quadro rtx 5000 my pc can handle this if you're working with a lower end graphic card you can simply set this to 64 and set this other one higher just in case you want to get this thing going so i'm just going to put this thing side to side so we can actually do a bit of comparison and contrast and how i'm going to do this is hold on the windows key and press the left button and i'm also going to do this here hold on the windows key and press the right button so you can now notice that we have those things here so from the previous versions you can also notice that exactly the same thing is there is just a few changes now a few changes in the terms of the ui is when you go over to this part which is the context menu or you know within the part that has to do with your context menu previously we do have measure and at the same time we do have things that has to do with camera alignment and all that but right now that is not the case as if you click over here you no longer see measure but rather you see the vegetation scatter and you see the vegetation painting this vegetation painting previously used to live here which is actually called vegetation but now it's cool to know that you know they kind of reworked this a little bit more and when you switch over to this part you now have basically the things that you need to control the setting of your entire scene which makes logical sense although the same feature hasn't been applied to the media section as if we switch back and forth you'd still notice that it's exactly the same thing that we have but you would definitely also notice that the icons have changed and i already talked about this in the previous video which we made about twin motion now if you take a look here you notice that the previous icon has been changed to this new one and with that said let's get right into talking about where you can find some things so previously we had volumes and volumes had to do with section water sound and reflection probes but now we have sections reflection probes notes and measures and this is really really cool to see that we now have these things here if you switch to the folder which was previously called furniture and you get to find a couple of folders that has to do with home city primitive decals and particles right now if you click over here you'll be able to see these things but now we now get to see water which was previously stored in a section called volume it is now stored here water and sound are now stored here nothing really changes with the particles which is also something cool that you need to note but once we choose to proceed from what we have right now you will start noticing a huge difference the first difference which you notice has to do with the decals so for the decals if you simply come over and start you know drop a simple decal here so i'm just going to go ahead and find one cool decal and i'll just drop that decal on the floor so let's go ahead and find one so if i drop this decal directly on the floor press f to zoom right into it i'm also going to do the same thing here i'm just going to go all the way down and find that simple decal click drag and drop press f to zoom right in there you would notice something significantly different what you can notice here is we now have texture contrary to the previous time which we don't have the option to customize the decal so if you have a png image you can simply open this up and load the png image and you have your custom decal here and this is a good improvement to actually see and with that out of the way let's go ahead and talk about light 
so for the light once you go through and select the light you will notice i'm just going to go ahead and turn this all the way to um let's make this 21 and at the same time i'm also going to come over here and make this 21 and you can see that all right already you can tell that there's a huge difference between the sunset on the 2021 makes way more sense compared to the previous one in the previous version we do not have this very realistic looking sunset and this is one huge improvement that they've done that would definitely change the way your renders look so with this said i think it's best to just proceed with talking about light so in previous version once you get to bring out the light like this and i'm also going to get this simple light and drop this here you can also start noticing that there is a huge difference between the both lights all right a huge difference between the both light has to do with how the lights are being interpreted in our scene so if i also come over here and let's see i right click and also do the same thing here so i'm just going to you know undo that right click and raise this all the way up you can notice that we have our spotlight casting to the floor if i also choose to turn this totally dark and also do the same thing here so what time update do we have here 2300 which is this and at the same time i'm also going to come over here and make this 23 and 00 and you now notice that we have this all right so if you take a look at what we have right here and if you take a look at what we have right here of course there's a huge difference within the sky we've talked about that but then if you simply take a look down here you would notice we now have a new feature called haze so previously we did not have this haze feature which can cause sort of volumetric effects but now we can have that directly in our scene so you can see what we have here so with this right now you can simply go ahead and start making some very extremely cool effects directly with your object and at the same time you can still choose to reduce or increase how much intensity that you want all of those basic things we'll still have a full video that has to talk about this but with this said let's move on so moving on we're going to talk about the objects so it is also worth noting that the object here has gotten a couple of love a couple of love in the sense that if i switch over to the vehicles which we have here and i actually go over to cars and actually come here you'll notice right now we don't have any thumbnail that simply tells us what we're looking for but once you you know hover around here you can see that we have three different renders that tells us what we are looking for and how best this can suit your scene so if i simply go all the way down and choose to select let's say an suv like this I'm just going to click and drag i'm also going to do the same thing since the models did not change so with this here in our scene i'll press f just to frame right in i'm also going to press f right here to frame right in and for this if you want to change your colors before how you get to do things is you come over here and you switch to a color so let's say i want to go for a color like dark blue for example and i'm also going to come through and you can now see like right now you can actually tell what your model will look like even before you apply a given color so i'm just going to go ahead and apply the color and you can already start noticing that the way we have reflections on our scene even without a reflection probe makes so much sense so without a reflection probe you can already start noticing that we're having some very cool reflection going on here contrary to what we had in the previous version which is this you now have some very cool stuff going on here so i think i've made the point about the whole huge difference between these two with that said i think it's just best to actually fire this all the way up so that we can enjoy the entire thing and i'll proceed to talking about characters so for the characters they have also added a couple of characters so previously we did have characters but you know you know the characters wasn't so good all right so but right now we have a whole lot of characters have about 62 characters with motion captured animations all baked into them and you can also notice that we have some very cool characters right now if i simply click on any of these characters so i'm just going to click on this drag and drop you can tell so if i just rotate around this character let's press f to get right into the frame with that character and let's rotate around this cool so if i simply rotate around this character and actually go a little bit closer you can see that we have way more details compared to what we regularly had in our previous version of twin motion so if i simply rotate around you can start noticing even the wrinkle on the cloth looks so cool you can also tell with the way that the character looks the shading on this just looks really nice so for the characters they've actually done a lot of things to that at the same time there is also some very cool realistic cutout characters that they've also you know went ahead to add so if i simply scroll all the way down i can drag in this realistic cutout characters 
and you can see that they are right here and you can choose to turn the picture on and off or you can you know just simply use the visualization style that they added in Twinmotion 2019 which actually makes its way to this version to go through and change this to actually suit what you want in your scene and a good feature right now is you can also choose to color this however you want and if you go over to more you can play with textures and review brand new textures we're definitely going to cover most of these things in the texture video so all of these beautiful things are cool and it's really nice to see that we have them there but if if we have to proceed we need to talk about vegetation so there is a huge hype a, a very huge hype about the vegetation scattering the vegetation thingy everybody's talking about vegetation whoa so the vegetation actually got a whole lot of love and i'm also going to start off by taking this right out and for this i would come over here and simply drag out a tree so let's talk about this tree by default in your previous version of twin motion there was nothing that looks like you being able to grow trees. In fact, if we actually zoom right in, you can see how realistic these trees are. And it's a good thing we didn't close the previous version of Twinmotion, which we had. So we can actually go through and take a look at what we had before. So if I simply delete this, go all the way up, go over to the tree, select one of these trees, bring the black gum, which is my favorite, out. You can already start noticing how this thing falls apart. This is awesome. All right. You can see how realistic these trees are. And you can definitely see that they are beautiful so with this out of the way you can still choose to grow your trees all right so you can go all the way from small to big and it's very cool to see that there is a huge integration with guys from xfrog and this is really really cool and at this point you can also choose to set growth turned on or turned off it's totally dependent on you and what you want which is actually a feature you don't have in the previous version of twin motion so how do you work with the growth turned on and turn off because if you turn this off you definitely don't see any result and if you turn it on everything still looks the same so the best way to actually show you guys how this thing works is i'm going to go ahead and turn this off select this right now and you know you can see we have exactly the same thing going on and you're wondering what is going on why is nothing happening all right why even this is turned off why is nothing happening the reason is because if you come over to this section where we have our weather we can also choose to turn on growth directly here and grow the entire thing so if your growth is turned off if you're trying to make a simulation where things grow from small to big depending on the season depending on the weather that is not going to be applicable to that particular three or to that particular you know vegetation object that you have all right and while we're still and while we're still speaking about the weather you can also see that the weather has been improved in previous version we do have two different sliders which one was up here and another one was down here but now we just have one huge slider that you can use to play with these things and you can definitely get some very cool results out of this so in case you're thinking about the growth thingy you may want to you know go ahead and turn this thing on for your particular object that you're working on so if i turn this you know on right now and switch all the way back to our weather and start growing this you can now notice that we have our growth happening for both objects if you switch over to this place we still have exactly the same thing which we regularly have so i can increase the smog which is going to give us some extra fog in our background so in case you're thinking about fog this is also something really interesting that you can also choose to play with so i'm just going to go all the way back so i'm setting this to what it was before and this to what it was before actually let's just make a new scene because it's just so cool and satisfying to do that so i'm also going to come all the way to the bushes and within the bushes you can see that we have brand new sets of bush objects you can see how satisfying these things look so you can go ahead and check these things out we're also going to have a lot of videos about these things guys so it's just what it to you know keep an eye open for that for the rocks the rocks did not change there is no huge improvement for the rock it's just the same thing there is detailed grasses now which we're going to talk about and for the misc you now see that we have some miscellaneous objects now and these ones are coming from megascan all right so these ones are coming from megascan and we already talked about unreal engine purchasing megascan and these are very cool stuff at the same time we also have some very cool materials that are here but before we talk about the materials i think i think we should just complete everything that has to do with the grasses the bushes and all, and all that stuff so one more time i'm just going to get a brand new scene and close this and for this right here we will proceed by coming right here going over to our context menu 
and explaining the differences between these two. Already we know about the flight path and all that stuff. There is a video that covers all of these things in the description. Please check them out. So for this right here, if you want to start painting, you can actually go in there and drag whatever you want directly in and you can start painting. And did I actually mention that you can see the scale of this object to the proportion of the human and at the same time you can see the scale based on the growth. So with this right here, I can come over and select one single object, play with the density like we used to before, play with the age depending on what you want. If you want them to have the growth turned on all of them, you can choose to do that. You can come over here, select this, and now you can start painting. These shadows here are way better than the shadows we regularly had in the previous version. I love this ones a lot. So we have these cool shadows and at the same time, if you want to go back right here and play with the weather and you want to play with the universal growth, you can also choose to play with the universal growth directly from here. So with this done, I'm just going to go ahead and clean these things out because we don't want them. All right. So I'm going to clean these things out and we're going to go back one step and talk about the vegetation scatter. This is the craziest. All right. So I had a lot of guys actually complained about this particular one so it's really cool to see that we now have this right here so if you simply go through and again you can see the preview pretty cool stuff right you can drag and drop as much grasses as you want you can drag and drop as much weeds as you want you can select individual ones you can pick the paint bucket you can go over to the settings you can increase the size you can play with all of these things change the tint if you go over to more you can choose it to be a wild grass you can choose it to be a uniform so instead of using the grass i think it's best to go back and try out using this so i'm just going to go ahead and bring in a tree right now and i'm going to select this tree you know make sure that i have everything done and i'm also going to grab onto this select the object which is going to be the scatter object and i'm going to click and you can now notice that we're scattering this thing every single place so if you want to get some sort of uniform scatter you may want to select the object and right now this is a bit funky i think there's going to be a fix for that so you can select this go over to the setting go down to wherever you have all of this right now and you can change whatever you want i'm also going to go all the way back select this select this right here and choose to scatter now if i scatter this and go all the way and select the trees one more time bring this drag and drop all right select this right here select this button and click you notice that we're having way more so it has this i think to a great extent there is a collision thingy that it has so it kind of respects personal space in in a short form so in a short form this kind of respects personal space and i love it so i'm just also going to click here select this right now click on this and also click and you can now notice that we're having these trees growing everywhere. This was really crazy and more like something that you could hardly do if you're working with the previous version of twin motion and you can actually see how crazy this can be i can now go back select this object which we have go over to where we have our materials if i'm just jumping all the way back go over to where we have our materials go to ground switch over to nature ground and now drag and drop this and we have a huge you know a huge land full of trees so if you want to travel through you can travel through this and you know previously we also talked about how you can fast or how you can travel fast and how you can travel slow so if you hold down shift you can travel really fast if you take your hand off shift by pressing you know w you can travel slow if you want to travel even slower you can hold down alt and you travel way slower so there's just some very interesting things that you can do with this and with this here you can see that we now have some sort of level of detail fading off so right now you don't see what is in the distance until you travel to that point before you'll be able to see it and it's just really cool to see that once i switch over to the statistics that this is actually not taking a huge punch on the pc at all since it's making use of some sort of technology to render only what you can see within the camera and fade off the other ones in the background so for the materials there are a whole lot of materials that have also you know come around and if i simply come through and make a new scene and go through and say no and simply grab onto the materials in here so i'm just going to go all the way up and go to objects open up the primitive and bring a simple box right here and position that box here let me also get this chamfered box here and keep that right there so if i also come through i think it's also best to put this default plane and let's turn down the time of day to a point like this 
and you can already start noticing that we'll have some sort of global illumination happening here of course this is screen based all right so this is screen based global illumination so it's not something too crazy so if we go all the way up now and go to where we have our materials we now have some very very cool material so the very first one which i think we should talk about is the video so right now you can actually assign video to object and finally it is pretty cool to see that this is now here this was a nightmare but then we you know we did a hack around how you can get this but right now it's pretty cool that you can come over and you can open up uh, an mp4 file and you can simply load this directly here you can also switch over here if you want to make this not reflective you want to make it reflective you can actually go through and do all of that and you can see your video playing directly here as you switch the sliders up and down so this is pretty neat all right this is pretty neat at the same time you can choose to increase the glow so just in case you want this to shine in the night or something so let's actually go ahead and try that so if i switch this to 23 so let's make this 23 and you can actually start seeing this happening and you can see how much reflection we're getting from this this is a little bit too bright so i'm just going to tone this down some more so let's just bring this down a little bit it's a little too bright okay so let's just make this about 0, 0.0 maybe two for example cool so you can actually get some very cool stuff and you can see how much we're having the bounces you can also choose to delay this if you want and you can get some very cool delaying going on with your object and this is just insane so with this said i think we should also investigate and also talk about something else so i'm also going to hold down shift to make another copy which is right here and i'm just going to make this a copy instead of an instance go all the way up scroll all the way down so there is also a brand new one that is also here so if i go over to the neon you now see that we have brand new emission shaders here so i can actually drop this here pretty cool i can also switch this here pretty cool so this right here is going to get that vibe that emission looking stuff for your model for your animation for your render for your visualization pretty insane and going well for you so you can go through and play with these things and these are pretty cool and we're also going to have a couple of videos you know explaining how you can manipulate and play with these things as you proceed so cool materials are here and if you want to go through and you know check out some of them you can actually do that and while we're actually talking about emissions so there is now a brand new area light here so you can now have area lights you know lighting the life out of your scene and you can see this right here but there's also something that has to do with the spotlight that isn't in the area light so you remember when we talked about the spotlight we said you can turn on haze which can give you some sort of volumetric feeling right now that is not supported for the area light and it's a little bit sad yes i know but you can actually simulate something like that if you want so if you want to simulate something like that all you have to do is go over to your settings go over to the weather go to the effect and then if you increase the smog or the small yeah if you increase the smog you'll be able to simulate something like that here and this is pretty cool especially if you're trying to get volumetrics and stuff and you can go through and use this mode and actually get some very cool stuff happening in your scene so this is some very interesting things that you may want to try out just in case you are trying to take a look at these objects and you know take a look at these things and how they can perform and so one other thing which i'll actually go ahead and share with you guys is the new tools that has been added so there is a brand new tool called the note so if i just simply go up all the way objects grab onto these bring out this huge box jump way back go back one more time tools notes you can now pin notes here so you can now come over and actually enter what you want and you can pin these things directly here so this has the same snapping effect that you have when you're working with the decals and it's just pretty neat to see that you have these things here so with this right here you can turn this to face the camera all the time so this is going to be facing the camera at every single point that you rotate so if you want to rotate like this it just keeps facing the camera but if you want this to stick you can just simply turn this on and it's going to stick to the object and store this particular angle that it stays directly there if you want to export this you can also come over to the file and you can export this as a bcf file which you can use in third party apps as well so these things are very cool new neat features that we have here the dynamic you know resolution that it has just makes so much sense the fact that you can play with things back and forth also makes sense and if you are thinking of rendering these things out there is a nifty nice cool way that you can do this right now so you can now go over here and you can come over to your images same thing you had in your images the same thing you have go over here 
And once you click, you now notice that you have one huge part. So if I go around our object like this, all right, and simply click here, I now have about two. So I can simply make all of this, you know, changes and play this back and get some good results. I can also choose to collapse this if I want, expand this if I want, add some extra clip parts if I want. Like right now we have part one and now we have part two. If you want to make these things, you can choose to do that. I'm also going to go ahead and delete this, press the playback button and you have some very smooth sailing things going for you. So all of the things that we have just talked about are the cool new improvement, first look of the things that can be done with the new version of twin motion and at the same same time that we have all of these things happening there is also a very cool update that is also done for the sketchup you know tools and also the other plugins so i'm just going to go ahead and fire up sketchup right now and let's get this right here so with sketchup open you would notice that we're looking at the model that has been made by jose manuel and right now you would also notice that you can work with either versions of twin motion so i do have the previous version of twin motion you know the plugin installed which is live link and the new one so if i hit this right now it's going to go ahead and say it wants to load this in, into the old twin motion and you can see what it looks like by just doing that i'm also going to send this directly from here so in case you're thinking about live linking live linking is there you can also go to the link which is going to be in the description and you can check out the live linking features that are available so if i hit this you can now notice that we have some very significant stuff going on here of course you can see how light and how shadows work for these two totally different so you can take a look at what we have here which is the previous demo and you can also take a look at what we have here which is the brand new version and you know you can see what this demo looks like all right if you want to play with volumetrics like we've talked about you can actually do all of that come over to weather here and just increase and just increase the smog and you can start noticing some sort of atmospheric thingy atmospheric fog going on and these are just pretty cool things that you may probably not have all of the chance to create if you're working with the previous version all right so you can see with this older version you cannot really get all of that you know cool looking stuff but right now you can actually see that volumes are casted where volumes should be you know instead of having a total hazy day in the previous versions that you have so these are very neat stuff that you you know we have right now and if you want to play with the trial version you can also go over to the link which is in the description and download the trial version and also choose to play with them so this is definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about all of this cool stuff in the comment section which of the features that had made its way to twin motion that you are most proud about or you're most excited about tell me what your thoughts are about these things in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's definitely going to be amazing for you to go through and hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks Things like this. Peace.